YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's St. Graven here with another video and in this video I'm here to share my post game thoughts from the game that we all watched yesterday a lot of us watched it together between the Ravens and the Steelers and the Ravens got the win first time beating the Steelers in what has seemed like literally forever uh, but it was nice for the Ravens to get the win and just to get straight into it um, this was sort of a uh, it was a calm win uh, at least for me it was a calm win because um, my expectations going into this game, they were not as normally high as they would be. So I was like, hey, whatever happens, happens. I'm cool with it. Hoping for the win, hoping for the best, but we'll see how it shakes out. Um, so Ty, especially cause Ravens didn't have their starting quarterback, Lamar Jackson. Um, so Tyler Huntley, he started the game, um, and he didn't finish the game though. Because Tyler Huntley, he, he was taking off. He was trying to run some people over. Uh, Tyler Huntley, was, he was taking some hits, man. He, he, he was sure taking some hits, but he was putting it out there for his team. Uh, but that last hit that he took, where um, he, I think it was the third and three play. Yeah, where um, he faked it. Who he, was it the fake jet sweep? I think it was. Um, but where well, he faked it and kept it and then ran. And then he got tackled by one Steelers defender. But while he was getting tackled, Minka Fitzpatrick came in and whacked him. He whacked him. Laid him out. Took him out the game. And that was all she wrote. Um, so he didn't get to finish. But uh, really the focal point of this game, both before and certainly after Tyler Huntley got taken out, it was the run game. And man, um, Ronnie Stanley being back was everything. You saw this guy everywhere. You saw this guy laying out people. He trucked somebody himself. The pancake, he was just going off, man. He, him being back, it made such a big difference. His offensive line, I know they were doing sort of a little rotation thing with Ben uh, Cleveland and uh, Tristan. They were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, but this offensive line in yesterday's game, they deserve so much credit because they had such a great dominant game. Um, obviously, especially in the run game, for the Ravens to be able to run the way that they did, li literally all game, literally all game long, for them to be able to run how they did, um, that offensive line deserves a ton and more uh, credit. So they did a phenomenal job. Uh, it's funny, one of my guys, he sent me a message before the game. He said, hey, who would you start in fantasy? Should I start J.K. Dobbins in fantasy or should I start Gus Edwards? And I told him, I said, start, start, start Gus Edwards. Because I don't think J.K. Dobbins is really going to get much of a workload. This is his first game back. And that boy, was I wrong? I was all the way wrong about that one. But And I kept telling y'all leading up to this game, I just did not see J.K. getting like this full workload on his first game back. Especially how they treated him before uh, when he first came back. I thought they were going to just sprinkle him in here and there. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. And J.K. was not fully healthy, as we could see. Um, J.K., like on that, the, that long 44-yard run right before the touchdown, you tell, he, he's not, he was not him full self. And he even talked about it after the game. He's not completely healthy. Um, but he went out there. He gave it his all. He came through. And, and that's something to think about. Like, J.K. Dobbins, he's not fully healthy right now. Now, it, will it be one of those things where for the rest of the season, he, he will never be fully healthy? Or will it be one of those things where he just got to keep getting back out there and just keep grinding it out and he will gain more health as the season continues? We'll see. We'll see. But he was phenomenal yesterday. He was phenomenal yesterday. He was running hard. Uh, and again, he couldn't even reach like his top speed or whatnot, but he was explosive. He was very explosive. Uh, he was cutting through them holes and whatnot, finding space, and just getting out of there, man. J J.K. Dobbins was great. And I didn't even realize, like, J.K. Dobbins, he had 15 carries and 120 yards. Um, so, and when, I, when we were watching the game live, I'm like, okay, yeah, J.K. Dobbins got a bunch of carries. Gus probably got, like, half the carries. that he. Nope, Gus had uh, 13 carries. So he's right behind him. He's literally right behind him in carries. Uh, but Gus got 66 yards. But the way that they used, they, they got that. This is their first time having both of their top guys back. And they used both of their top guys in a major way. And both of them contributed in several different ways. J.K. Dobbins, obviously the big plays, the explosive plays. Gus Edwards was the grinded out plays. And, of course, the, the, the first down to, to end it, to seal the deal. Because 
the Steelers still had an opportunity. Um, after they scored that touchdown, uh, they had an opportunity. What were they down by three? No, not the touchdown. After they, no, that was, yeah, after they scored a touchdown. Um, they still had an opportunity to get the ball back. All they had to do was stop the Ravens. And I was a little nervous, especially since Tyler Huntley wasn't even in the game. Lamar not in the game. It's Anthony Brown. It's their third-string quarterback. Yeah, but that run by Gus Edwards on that was third and what the third and four, third and five, whatever it was, and he got it. He got it. What I was thinking too, like with the the game plan in this game, obviously it was to run heavy. It was to run like crazy, and they did that. There was sometimes when I felt like some of the situational play calling it wasn't the best. Um, there was a. Uh, because they were, oh, it was the fakes, the the, the fakes to Devin Duvernay, because there were a couple of them, the little fake jet sweeps to Devin Duvernay. Um, I felt like the Steelers, they weren't biting on that. Like, one was the play where uh, Tyler Huntley got injured. Steelers weren't biting on that at all. Then there was another one, uh, the one to end, to end the game. And uh, I just thought, like, you didn't give Devin Duvernay any jet sweeps all game, so you didn't even really set that up. So I, I didn't expect the Steelers to really bite for it. Uh, but maybe the Steelers were watching the game, the game film from last week, and they were like, "Oh yeah, Devin Duvernay, he might get one of them, maybe on on the one that uh, on the Gus Edwards first down for the win, because they bit on it a little bit." But Gus Edwards just he's a powerful man. That is one powerful guy. And again, the offensive line, the offensive line. There was another time where uh, the run game was just working, 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 and um, then they just started passing. They started passing, and I just, I was just like, oh, okay. Um, but it, it didn't happen too often. But you know, <laughs> you know, Ravens like they got to get it out of their system a little bit every game. Some, some games more than others, but they got to get it out of their system a little bit. Just if something's working, they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna use it, use it. You know what? Let's go away from it. But then they got back to it. So for the majority, it was, it was, it was good, man. Um, the, the Marcus Robinson, um, he, he was getting involved early. Uh, when Tyler Huntley was in. Um, and Demarcus Robinson, he has been, I feel like his strongest presence as a receiver for Lamar, for Tyler Huntley, has been on the sideline, them sideline catches. Them sideline catches have been clutch for uh, both quarterbacks with Demarcus Robinson. He's been doing this thing. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, he also caught a couple of passes. I, my, my favorite pass in this game from Tyler Huntley. I think it came in the first quarter. Well, I mean, he only played in the first quarter, so yeah. But Tyler Huntley, um, he snapped the ball, and he was running to his left, scrambling to his left. He rolled out of the pocket to his left, and so he threw the, the ball across his body, but to uh, Deshaun Jackson, and it, it was just, it was a tough, tough catch. And that, that seems to be his specialty because that ended up, that was my favorite catch. I mean, excuse me, that was my favorite pass from him last week where he did the same thing and he hit Kenyon Drake. Where Kenyon Drake, he was he was behind one defender and in front of two more defenders and Tyler Huntley put it right there to him and Kenyon Drake got some yak and it was like a gain of 12 and it was right before Tyler Huntley got the game-winning rushing touchdown. But, um... I guess that's, that may be his special move. That may be his X factor, Tyler Huntley's X factor, to where he rolls to his left and throws across his body, but it seems to be crazy accurate when he does make those plays. And he, he's good for one a game. So he left with a concussion. Ravens got their next game on Saturday, so will he be back in time? We'll see. We'll see. That is because um, we don't know if Lamar is going to be back. We don't know if Tyler Huntley is going to be back. It could be Anthony Brown and Brett Hundley versus Deshaun Watson. So we'll talk about that when we get there. Of course, we'll know more as the week goes along. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, that was the offense. The offense was just – it was the run game yesterday. Uh, and it worked, and it worked in a major way. J.K. Dobbins averaged eight yards a carry. Gus Edwards, even though he ain't getting nearly as many yards as J.K. Dobbins, he averaged 5.1 yards a carry. So Ravens rushing standards yesterday were like super high, uh, but it, it it worked out really good, man. And then Tyler Huntley, of course, he got his too. Um, and yeah, that was that was the offense. They controlled the clock. Um, they got generated good yards on the ground. Um, so yeah, it, it worked out. And this this was a low scoring game. This was sort of one of them old school AFC North type of games. 
I, I figured, and I kept saying leading up to this game, I didn't think it was going to be ugly as last week. Still was kind of ugly, but not nearly as ugly as last week. I don't think any any game can be. Uh, well, you know what? Let me not say that because, you know, Ravens, Ravens will pull some stuff out and be like, ha, there you go. But anyway, that was that. Now, um, oh, I forgot King and Drake had that fumble. Oh, and Tyler, oh, Tyler Huntley had that fumble too, but I think um, – it said uh, Ben Cleveland. It, ben Cleveland had bumped the ball. He had knocked the ball out of Tyler Huntley's hands, and uh, it was just a mess. Oh, yeah, that, that was on that fourth down play. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot about that. But And then on the the, the, the King and Drake fumble. Um, so the Tyler Huntley one, that was a turnover on downs anyway. But the King and Drake one, Josh Oliver, he recovered that one. Um, so, yeah, sometimes uh, it's like these, these offensive linemen, they, they end up being the quarterback's worst enemy sometimes. I remember – uh, Morgan Moses, when he sacked Lamar, he he did a sack strip on Lamar in the Saints game, um, and then yesterday it was Ben Cleveland, but it's all good. And then it was, it was funny yesterday when Tyler Huntley, I think him and Ronnie Stanley, they must have been having an argument or something, because when Tyler Huntley threw the ball right at Ronnie Stanley's head and it bounced, and ooh, that 9.99999 times out of 10, that's always an interception. But thank goodness, like, it went to the ground, the, the, the safety dropped it, and I was like, oh, thank goodness, because that... Those hurt the most. Well, I mean, any interception hurts, but those off of those crazy plays, if it hits the offensive lineman or hit one of your own players and it just it goes crazy or high up in the air, it's always crazy. But speaking of interceptions, um, the Ravens, they had a bunch of them yesterday. Uh, and you know what was what was scary at the end of the game, especially when Steelers were driving and they got their touch. I was thinking, oh, man, like, right? Ravens, they cannot lose this game. That would be really, really, really bad after having three interceptions, two sacks, um, a blocked field goal. And if you lost the game after all of that, oh, that would have been just deflating, deflating for your team to lose after all of that. Oh, but anyway, um, they uh, they they won. So that was good. Oh, real quick. Back to the offense, John Harbaugh, there was a challenge. It was, it was a really bad challenge by John Harbaugh with Tyler Huntley. He was scrambling, and he sort of dove for the first down, um, but he was clearly short. It was obvious that he was short. Uh, Harbaugh challenged it, and I, I just said, I said, you know what? Um, let me, I'm going to just give Harbaugh the benefit of the doubt. It was a bad challenge, but I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to just say that he wanted an extended timeout because it was a bad challenge that we knew the Ravens weren't going to win. It was not even close. Um, and so when you lose a challenge, you lose a timeout. So I'm going to just say Harbaugh just wanted some extended time to cut. And it was on third down. He just wanted some extended time for the Ravens to come up with a fourth down play. So, yeah. And then that led to the 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 Ben Cleveland, the Tyler Huntley, Ben Cleveland fumble exchange. Anyway, um, special teams, Justin Tucker, what more could you ask for The normal? Uh, he has such a high standard, and um, he deserves to have a high standard uh, because he has set and exceeded this high standard uh, year in, year out. Uh, he is the Ravens' all-time leading scorer. What's new? What's Nobody's shocked because um, he's always out there kicking a lot of field goals. So shout out to him. Um, and Calais Campbell with that block that was huge. It, 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 was, it was huge because it was a uh, game changer. It was a game changer. Um, Ravens win the game. They won the game by two points. Had that field goal been made, it's a completely different ball game. Completely different ball game. So that was huge. This game of inches. So shout out to Calais Campbell. Um, now on to the defense. Uh, Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett was he was looking like Steelers Mike Vick. Remember when Steelers had Michael Vick? That's how Kenny Pickett was looking. I said, all right, Kenny Pickett, hold up now. He was taking off. He was taking off. But then um, he got whacked. He got whacked. Um, Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen blitzed him. And Patrick Queen got his hands on him, but then just missed him. And then Roquan Smith came and cleaned it up. And he threw him on the ground, took Kenny Pickett out of the game. Uh, and that was a wrap. And I was thinking, uh-oh, Mitch Trubisky coming in. Ravens, uh, I, I feel like they would have been in a better situation going against Kenny Pickett than Mitch Trubisky. Uh, no. I saw somebody say, um, saw somebody put on Twitter that the Ravens, they played three, they, they had three quarterbacks playing for them yesterday. Uh, it was Tyler Huntley, Anthony Brown, and Mitch Trubisky. Because the, the, the three interceptions, man, three of them. The, the one 
to uh, Roquan Smith where he turned in the Ed Reed on that return. I was like, all right, man, he making people miss. It's like he was waiting for that opportunity for a long time. He was making all these people miss, jumping over people, cutting up. And I said, all right, now. But Roquan Smith, he balled, man. First game against the Steelers, he balled out, man. He did, he did his thing. Um, then Patrick Queen with his interception. And that interception, it's funny because we were ha- at that, that time, right before that interception, we were having a conversation during our live stream just saying how with the Ravens defense, they, they are very weird because they're not a bad defense, but situationally they're bad. Last two minutes uh, of the first half, they're bad. Last two minutes, fourth quarter uh, of the game, they're bad. Um, so in clutch times, they're bad. Like throughout the game, though, they'll be good. Throughout the game, they'll be really good. But in these clutch situations, they'll be bad. That was one of those clutch situations. Patrick Queen came out, came up with a beautiful interception. Somebody said that he looked like wide receiver one catching the ball. Maybe they need to put him there. And what's funny, too, somebody in the stream, when Roquan Smith, when he caught his pick, somebody in the live stream was like, oh, if that, if that was Patrick Queen, he would have dropped it. Patrick Queen must have been tuned into the live stream or something. Somebody must have sent on that comment because he made sure he ain't dropped that one. Now, oh, it was a beautiful pick. A little diving back was picking, falling back. Good stuff, PQ. And again, PQ, he been having a season, man. He been having a season. Um, yeah, and had some hiccups here and there, uh, as everybody has. But he been having a great season. So shout out to him. Uh, and like we've been saying, he was stepping up before Roquan got here. And then when Roquan got here, it helped him step up even more. So shout out to him. Uh, Marcus Williams, first game back, he like, hey, let me get back to what I was doing before. He called the pick. Beautiful pick. He called it like a wide receiver. Um, just amazing. Amazing. Um, great way to track that ball. Great way to just. It was perfect. It was perfect. And he has like, again, I say give, give him another $70 million. Because that, that $70 million that they paid for Marcus Williams was worth it and more. Let me not say that out loud, though, because the Ravens will mess around and give him another $70 million. So let, let, let me chill out. But anyway, shout out to Marcus Williams. He was great. Uh, Marlon Humphrey. This is a bad game for Marlon Humphrey. And he even acknowledged it on Twitter. He said, I was a liability out there in coverage. And he was. George Pickens was getting him. Um, so Marlon Humphrey was struggling. Um, shout out to George Pickens, by the way. I know a lot of Ravens fans. There's a lot of discourse about George Pickens, uh, the whole George Pickens, David Ajabo thing. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, um, yeah, he he had a rough game. Marcus Peters, he uh, his game was up and down yesterday. He had some tackles that he missed. Um, got the penalty. The um, what penalty was it? The uh, uh, the what? I'm, I'm supposed to like conduct kind of penalty, I think. Um, but yeah, he he's up and down. There was some times when he was playing two hand touch, and <sighs> yes, yeah. But anyway. Um, Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton made some nice open field tackles. Uh, he was out there the majority of the game. Um, he did give up that touchdown at the end to the tight end, but that that route was just nice. It was nice. It was a tough cover for Kyle Hamilton. I couldn't even be mad at, it, at him that he gave it up. It, it was just tough. It was tough. It was just a beautiful route by that tight end. Kyle Hamilton couldn't stick with it, and boom, touchdown. Um, uh, Bowser. Bowser, that, that guy is strong, man. His arms are just, they, they are so big, man. Um, the Ravens pass rush, their pass rush, um, it's, it's been pretty good overall this season. Um, it's been a lot more consistent than it has been in the years past. It's been a lot more productive than it has been in years past. Um, so shout out to Mike McDonald, man. Um, that is one of the things that he has gotten, uh, right a lot. Now, one thing that could improve and could make them even better, just finishing better. Um, they finish a lot because obviously it's productive, but there were some almost sacks yesterday uh, that they missed. Um, but yeah, they again yeah, the pass rush has been a lot better. Tackling, um, tackling was up and down yesterday. There was some great tackles, and then there was some terrible tackles. The tackling was up and down yesterday. There was some. I remember there was one play. I forgot what quarter it was, but I remember it was third down. Uh, Steelers just checked it down to the running back. Third down. It was obviously it was going to be short of the first down because it was Ravens defender right there. But nope. One Ravens defender missed, two Ravens defender missed, three Ravens defender missed, four Ravens defender. Oh, first down. It was just like, oh. But, again, thank goodness after everything, both good and bad, the Ravens were able to come out with a win. And when you can come out with a win with your backup quarterback, then a backup, backup quarterback, that's a beautiful thing. We talked about how um, during the game, we talked about how we brought it up that after Tyler Huntley went out, that coaching, it would have to be 
perfect. It would have to be perfect. Um, and they they did their thing. It wasn't perfect, but it was good, and it was it, it was good enough to to get it done. Um, so, because again, the only thing that I, the only reason I would say it wasn't perfect because there was some situational stuff where I was like, ooh, like, uh, come on, what what are we doing? Why are we going away from what's working? But they end up closing it out. And one thing that I would have su- suggested, um, they didn't do it. Uh, we'll see next game, but. There were, uh, with Anthony Brown, I would have had him fake it. I would have had him fake it to the running back or to Duvernay or whoever was coming across. I would have had him fake it to them and, and keep, his, keep some himself. He didn't run at all. He ain't had no runs. Uh, and, the, it's like this, and it's like the Ravens, they set it up perfectly to where they could fake it to the running back and have Anthony Brown take off. But maybe they were like, oh, we lost. We done lost Lamar. No, we done lost Tyler Huntley. We ain't trying to lose Anthony Brown, too. So maybe that's what it was, but we'll never know. But anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Um, and yeah, that was, it was a good game. And shout out to the Ravens for getting the win. Let's uh, see how Saturday goes. Because again, just a reminder, they play the Browns this Saturday, not Sunday, Saturday. So make sure you remember, because if not, you probably going to be on Sunday at one o'clock looking for the Ravens game and you're going to be highly upset. We out.